What's up guys, Shane Starnes with DroidMotorX.com and as you guys can see today I'm going to be showing you guys the Liquid Smooth ROM on the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is the Verizon version. Now the Release Candidate 3 was released a few days back for several devices so you can also find this on your Galaxy Nexus. Uh, all the versions of the Galaxy Nexus, all the versions of the Samsung Galaxy S3. You can also find it on some of the tablets and uh, several other devices. Just a big huge release. Now Release Candidate means that most of the bugs have been taken out of this ROM. This thing should be 100% stable. Um, I've been using it as a daily driver for the past couple of days and I've really loved it. Um, it is not a full release, however, they still have a few little kinks to work out. But as far as I have found, there have been no bugs. Uh, first of all, we'll go to Settings and About Phone. Now you will see that we're running Jelly Bean. Uh, the baseband version is the latest baseband version because I flashed the stock Jelly Bean, which included the basebands, and they stuck after I flashed this ROM. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. Uh, if you'll head to the link in the description, or I'll try to include the link in the description uh, to update to the latest version of Ice Cream Sandwich on the Verizon network. It was an over-the-air and included new basebands. It is still rootable. It is still unlockable. As you see, I've uh, flashed custom ROM over that version of Ice Cream Sandwich. So this is uh, Liquid Jelly Bean version 2.0 Release Candidate 3 and it does include uh, a custom kernel there as well. So we'll kind of go to the home screen and I'll just show you how fast it moves through the screens. Very buttery smooth and you can really tell whenever you scroll through the app drawer as well. Now there are some custom settings here uh, you see that you do have the liquid launcher. This is basically the same as, uh, it is the liquid launcher, but it's based on the trebuchet launcher. So you'll find all the same settings as in the trebuchet launcher. Uh, you can remove the search bar. So now that's gone. It looks a whole lot cleaner without that search bar, in my opinion. Uh, we'll go back. And there's also some, uh, you can resize your widgets, hide labels, a few little things that you can do there. You can change your grid size so that you didn't have extra columns of apps. There's some drawer settings there and some general settings. Uh, that's the auto rotate which you can turn on. Of course that's included in the liquid splasher anyways. So a few things here. Display. Uh, you can change the rotation. It comes with 0, 90, and 270. I checked the 180 so that way I can turn it all the way upside down and it turns with me. And uh, your notification light, you can actually change the color of the notification light, which is here. I have it as light blue, but you can change it to any color on the scale. And as soon as I get a notification, you'll see it change there. Um, you can use custom values for like applications and whatnot. And let's see, interface. You can change your custom carrier label. So when you pull down the the pull down there, it says Droid Modder X. Uh, you can disable the boot animation. It gives you a faster boot up time. Uh, but personally, I like the liquid boot animation, so I'm going to keep it there. And you can also force tablet UI. So uh, this, if you were to click this, you would have to uh, reboot. But it would, instead of having your pull down there, you would have a pull up here. And you'd have, if you had your navigation bar enabled, it would be in the corner here and then of course you'd have the split pane in your settings. There's some LC density settings there as well. If we go to the lock screen we have all kinds of setting for the lock screen. Um, you change the text color. You can turn the battery status on so that when you go to the lock screen you have the battery status there. Uh, you can set weather and calendar on your lock screen and then you can change your shortcuts. So if I pull this over I can actually change that to any application that I want. Uh, so we can just go to the browser, select OK hit save. Now if I turn this off and back on I'll have the browser. I can just open directly in the browser or I can go to camera or unlock. Let's see. Navigation. Um, you can change your hardware keys. This is what I would suggest doing. You can actually give these, like if we go to the menu key, you can actually change what the menu key does. Um, you cannot give it like control of an app like you can with the navigation bar. If you want to enable the navigation bar, you can do that as well uh, by hitting enable bar. 
and that will enable the navigation bar. To me, I don't like that because it takes up extra screen real estate and I already have um, the capacitive keys. So personally, I prefer the capacitive keys on the Samsung Galaxy S3. So I actually disable that. But if you had that enabled, you could uh, change your you could change these to any apps that you wanted to uh, just by going to custom app applications and you can put any app that you wanted there. Um, let's see, for some reason it didn't let me do it there. Maybe that's not fully functioning. Try it one more time. There we go. So you see how that adds it. So I guess you could put like a dialer there and uh, whatever you wanted to in that spot. I personally, I just don't like it. So I'll take that away. Like I said, it just takes up extra screen real estate. Of course, you could adjust the bar height, and that would help some, but I just prefer to use the capacitive keys. They're there. Might as well use them. Power menu. Uh, this is whenever you hold the power button. You have your reboot options. You can reboot directly into recovery or download mode, and you can also add some custom toggles there. Sound. This is your uh, ringtone. You can actually set your quiet hours there, so if you didn't want to... I uh, hear your ringtone from 10 o'clock at night to 7 o'clock in the morning. You can actually set that uh, to not have any sound coming from your phone whatsoever. Toggles. Uh, that would be your pull-down toggles there. You can actually enable the toggles that you want. There's several to choose from. And then you can change the, the layout. Like so. I prefer this layout because it just seems a whole lot cleaner to me. You can change the style and the color, and also you can change the background of how transparent it is. Widgets. You can actually enable the power widgets. It gives you another row of power widgets. Uh, I really just don't like the way that that looks, so I always keep that unchecked. Your status bar. You can change your battery icon style. I prefer text only. And you can also change your clock style to center, right, or no clock. As well as add the day of the week, uh, signal text, and Wi-Fi text as well. And then uh, you have some options in the kernel here. Um, you can enable USB fast charge. I couldn't get it to stick for some reason. Whenever I check it, it just goes and unchecks itself. So I could not get that to work properly. In the processor, you can actually uh, overclock your CPU all the way to 15 112 megahertz, 1.5 gigahertz. That's pretty quick, and it is stable at that. I did run it for a full day at that, and it was plenty stable. It eats up a lot more battery that way. I just stay at uh, 1.35 gigahertz personally, and that seems to be plenty fast for me. Um, let's see, you can also set governors there as well. And then there's some startup scripts that you can enable. There's an SD card speed boost. Uh, you can clear your cache there. Uh, so several other things. And then, of course, it does include the theme chooser as well. So I've been getting pretty good battery life on this ROM. Uh, you can see them at 19%. And I've been on uh, this from the early in the morning. Um, it does seem to fly. I really do like this. Uh, you do see that I have a liquid smooth background. That's because I downloaded the backgrounds from the op. See, the link will be below. But actually, you have to extract the folder from the link that they provide and then you'll see the liquid walls so there's several to choose from there but they don't have it included as a wallpaper app okay so we'll just reboot into recovery you need to download the rom the g apps and the walls now whenever i was downloading them they're all named the exact same thing so you want to download those and then you want to go into like a file manager and rename those so that you know that you uh, you want to always install the rom first then the g apps and then the walls it's not actually flashable, it's just a zip that you'll extract and then you'll be able to use the wallpapers. So the installation here is really simple. If you've installed ROMs following my guide, you already really know what to do. So you'll go to wipe and factory reset, swipe to wipe, cache, swipe to wipe, Dalvik cache, swipe to wipe. Then you'll install and you'll do the version 2.zip first and swipe to flash. It's very important that you do that one first. And then you'll do the G app second. Swipe to flash. And of course, you'll just leave the walls alone. You'll use those like I showed you guys earlier. And just reboot the system. And I'll leave you guys with the boot animation. Uh, you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. I'm going to be doing a giveaway 
uh, next week. So be sure that you are following for that giveaway. Uh, it's going to be a case of some sort. I've got several cases to give away. I need to get those given away. So be sure that you are following me at DroidModerX on Twitter. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more Galaxy S3 videos as well as Galaxy Nexus videos, uh, Nexus 7 videos, Droid Bionic videos. And I'm looking to get several devices in the fall. I know that there's tons that are coming out. And I'm going to be picking up several of those whenever they come out. So I have root guides on those. Uh, my unboxings and reviews of those phones as well so be sure that you are subscribed for that if you found this video useful if you liked it be sure to click the thumbs up button i really do appreciate that thanks guys for watching i'll see you in the next one